Hey guys, what is going on? It's been a while since I have really made a video showing myself uh, a drumming. <laughs> um, I am working on the request for next week that was made back in February. I'm really sorry it's taken so long. I have not forgotten about it at all. Just things have 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 just spor sporadically popped up and it's been really hard to to kind of take on some some new or or different songs as as simple as some of them are i've just i've been um focusing on just on different things and now i feel i have a little break in time to where i can do those but at the same time I never sh I've never shown you guys as well what that Yamaha snare sounds like that I got a I think now two or three months back. It is a fantastic drum, but never showed you guys how it sound and I never truly have no. Yeah, I I've all I've only done one video with that Zojin K Constantinople. It has become a personal favorite. Everywhere I take it, everyone just loves it, and so this is going to be a a video to where there's going to be to where it, it it's going to be the same take done twice. Um, the, the 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 first time you you see it, all of the drum tracks are going to be raw tracks, but they'll just be 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 panned and and, and gain staged. Um, the, the, the second time round, I'm going to do a complete full mix on how I would, um, 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 mix this part particular drum microphone setup. If you would want to see how I, how I actually, um, um, um mix this and, and what I did to them, I, I can make a very quick, uh, uh, um, video basically showing you what plugins I used and and basically what I did with those plugins to achieve the drum sound that I have. But speaking of that, let's go see how I'm going to actually mic up the drum kit. All right guys, so here is basically, I'll just, I'll just set that there. But here's basically what I am going to be um, I'm using as mics. I've, I've, I'm going with a, a re, re quarter man rig with two um with two of ribbon microphones they're both basically basically the same uh, uh, distance from 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 the bass drum and and, and snare drum uh, 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 centers so that's going to be the, the the majority of today's sound i've also put a condenser mic just right down here right be right below the the right below the ride to 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 pick up more um, a, a low end and and pretty much more punch and then and, and then they've got as well my trusty 320 on the uh, on the on the the, the the bass drum to to help pick up the the bass drum lows but that is the only thing that will be close mic in this rig. The snare drum won't be close mic. All my toms uh, won't be close close, close mic. Hi hat to ride won't be won't be uh, close close mic. This is a very organic style of, of micing up a drum kit. But 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 the reason why I'm 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 using these is because they are. It is a it is a very good oh, good oh, overhead um, setup pair but it it really helps take out a lot of a lot of the room sounds and especially being in in, in this type of room I am uh, am uh, 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 which is basically a, a, a basement room that's got a bunch of stuff in here that's just that that makes this room sound not that great it really helps to cut out that room sound so let's let's go ahead and jump on in <laughs> 